Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can define import presets inside of the Unity game engine. So if you're trying to import image sprite sheets or sound effects, there may be certain settings that you want to apply to each one. So if I click on one of these assets in the project, you'll see in the inspector we have the import settings here. So you can define them on a one-by-one -one basis, such as changing the sprite mode, the pixels per unit, the filter mode, and the compression, uh, if you're doing pixel art. But if you go to each item, it gets a little tiresome to do that. And of course, you can select a bunch of the same type with shift click. So now we can change the settings of seven items at once and then change it like this. Type in the numbers. But at a certain point, you probably just want it to have the right settings as soon as you import it into your project. So what you can do is start by defining the right settings on one file. And then after that, we'll hit apply and we can take these settings click up here in the top right hand corner there's these little uh it looks like bars with a slider icon on it and you'll get a select preset window so it's also possible here to select and apply existing presets to individual files here but let's choose save current 2 and we'll create a texture importer preset in our project so i'm going to put this let's say at the base of the art since it's art related but it's not part of these packs and i'll just call it pixel texture importer and hit save. Okay, so now if we jump back to the art folder in the project, you'll notice the import settings are just how we defined them a minute ago. And we can click add to texture importer default up here if we want to quickly make this the default for all of the textures across our game. We can also go up to edit project settings and then down in preset manager between player and quality, we can add a default preset. So if we click here, we select the type of preset we want and you can search. So there's a bunch of different presets you can set, including presets for model behavior components or scriptable objects, if you want them to have default settings initialized. So uh, let's go ahead and do the texture importer though. So texture importer, and we can have a filter over here on the left which helps us if we need to define different sets of presets for different items or different folders in our project. And over here for preset, we can click here and select the pixel texture importer. Now this is only going to apply to new items you bring into the project. So if you imported a bunch of images and they have the wrong settings, and then you create the preset, I would just remove everything from the project and then add it back in and it will be imported with this preset over here. Now, you might also want to have uh, multiple options for different folders in your project. So for instance, you might have your art set up so that you have a tile set folder and tile sets are going to probably have the sprite mode to multiple all of the time. But maybe let's just say that you had a icons folder and every icon was already its own image then you might want the sprite mode in that case to import to single instead, since they would only have one icon per file. So if we take a quick look at the Unity documents, it's detailed under this advanced filter search section, and I'll put a link to the page in the description for class preset manager. And you can see that you can define a glob in the search string and a search pattern as defined down here. So for instance, a simple one would be to use folder name and then slash the star represents uh, any actual file name here. And then if you'd like also the extension here, so you could put .png instead of .fbx, which is a format for 3D models. So let's go ahead and test that. I'll add a, another option here to the list of texture importers and we'll create a duplicate pixel texture importer. And I'll just change the sprite mode to single and we'll give it a folder name, which that should apply to. So, let me pull this over here for right now and let's duplicate the presets control c control v i'll rename this to be let's just say single mode pixel texture importer okay and we want the original to be at the top for our general one okay i'll also get rid of that one there okay so name's correct and then let's say we have a icons folder so i will do glob uh, colon quotation marks and then art slash icons slash star and i'm just going to drop the dot png and i'm just going to drop the dot png and i'm just going to drop the dot png so i'll just have this applied to any texture that happens to exist in that folder or nested below okay so let's go ahead and test if this works now i'm going to start by deleting the enemies and pixel adventure packs from the project 
So I'll just delete that right there. And you can see I have the zip file still in there. So I'm going to open that up in the Explorer. Let's see. So art. And then let's extract this one more time. Okay. And let's bring in the enemies as well. Okay. So now we can click in here and see if our files have the right settings. So let's check the Angry Pig. We can see it has sprite mode multiple set, pixels per unit 16, compression is none, and filter mode is point. So it did apply the right settings. So now we want to test if the secondary texture importer actually worked. So we need to put some files into a folder called icons inside of art. So let's go to art and I'm going to create the folder here. I'll call it icons. Okay. And here I have an icon sheet I've been kind of working on. So I'm just going to save this into that folder. It'll be in a sprite mode single, which in this case, because this is one giant sprite sheet, we probably want it in multiple, but just to demo that the texture importer will actually apply in this case. So let's go to import presets, assets, art, icons, and let's save it here. Export from a sprite. And so if we go ahead and click here, we can see that the sprite mode is still multiple. Uh, the reason for that is we didn't actually define the new setting for the pixel texture importer. So let's click here, double click, and we'll, we can change the sprite mode to single. All right, now let's go back to the icons folder. We can see it still hasn't applied. We need to re-import it one more time. So I'm going to delete the icon sheet and then let's re-export it like so. And now if we click here, we can see it's in sprite mode single as we would expect. But at the same time, if we check any other folder, then we're gonna see it's in sprite mode multiple. Now, of course, you don't have to just use folder names. You could also have a name for your files where maybe you name all of the animation sheets, something like dash sprite sheet. And then if you did a match based on that, then you can just have any file, which is named as a sprite sheet to be in multiple mode, because generally those kind of files, like these run, idle, and hit animations of the mushroom, would be multiple mode because you need to slice up each of these individual files. But it's just kind of up to you on exactly how you want to set up your filters so that the right presets get applied to the right files. But that in a nutshell is basically the gist of how you use the preset manager and import presets inside of Unity. So I've been Chris. I hope this tutorial was helpful for all of you. Thanks for watching to the end, and I will see all of you in my future Unity content.